I'm sure most of you have heard of the disease called vitiligo, but the question really is, what is vitiligo? Let's get right into it. Vitiligo is a potentially devastating skin condition where patients lose pigmentation in their skin. In some patients, it's a really mild condition where there are just one or two spots on their body that are affected. But in the most severe cases, it can affect broad areas of the skin. It can affect the face, it can affect the neck, it can affect the back, it can affect the chest, it can affect your genital skin. It can really happen anywhere on the body. In our most severe cases, it causes a lot of distress for our patients. Now, no one really knows what the exact cause of vitiligo is, but some of the mechanism has been figured out. So I'm gonna get into some of that with you. So this is our skin. There are a few cell types that are in the skin, but for the purposes of this video, these little square guys here are keratinocytes, and this amorphous cell is a melanocyte. Now, melanocytes are the cells that produce melanin pigment, and that melanin pigment is transferred from the melanocyte into the keratinocytes. So the melanin is made here, and it's transfer transferred into these cells here. Now, what causes the color in our skin is the melanin that's living in the keratinocytes. Now in patients who have vitiligo, there's an immune response that basically wipes out the melanocytes. So cells come in and they cause an inflammatory reaction that gets rid of the melanocyte. Well, guess what? If you have no melanocytes, you have no pigmentation. That's what happens in a patient with vitiligo. If you look at a skin biopsy specimen from someone with vitiligo and you use a special stain to detect the melanocytes, you'll find that there's a complete absence of melanocytes in the skin. And without the melanocytes, you can't make melanin. And without melanin, you don't have pigmentation in your skin. So naturally, the next question is, how do you treat vitiligo? Well, the way I view it is there's basically two parts to this. Initially, when you have vitiligo, in an early onset lesion, these immune cells are attacking the melanocytes. So the first step is you got to stop that immune response that's killing the melanocytes. So treatments generally involve the use of cortisones, either topically or orally, or other medications that suppress the immune response. By doing that, you eradicate the cells that are actually destroying the melanocytes. And some patients, when you catch it really early, you can restore pigmentation because the melanocytes will repopulate once that immune response has been removed. The next part of treatment is in someone who has long-standing vitiligo. And the goal for those patients is to try to restore the melanocytes back to the surface of the skin so that they can repigment the skin. They can start producing melanin, which can be transferred to the keratinocytes, and that restores the pigmentation in the skin. Now for that, there's basically two treatments that we use. We use UV light and we administer that in two forms. One is in a light box. It kind of looks like a tanning booth. You stand in the booth and light is shined on you. We use a very specific wavelength of light. We use something called narrow band UVB, and that's very effective in some patients for restoring their melanocytes and restoring their pigmentation. Another treatment that we do that's become very popular is use of the eczema laser. The eczema laser is basically a UV laser that administers a really strong dose of UV light on patches of vitiligo. We're able to really precisely treat our patients because we can adjust the size of the spot that the laser is delivering the light. So you can really treat very small areas or you can treat larger areas. A combination of these two treatments has proven to be really effective for our patients. And we've been able to restore pigmentation in a lot of our patients, and also we've been able to restore almost 100% of our patients' pigmentation. Now, these treatments don't work in everyone, but our hope is when we see a patient that we're able to at least restore some pigmentation. The results are variable. Some patients have 100% repigmentation, and some patients don't really have any repigmentation, but you only know what the results are once you start administering the treatment. So a question you may be asking yourself is, if the melanocytes have been completely eradicated from the surface of the skin, how does UV light or how does the laser get pigmentation back into the surface of the skin? Now it's pretty cool the way this works. Melanocytes can live deep down in someone's hair follicle and those remain viable. So a patient who has vitiligo, sometimes if it's in a patch of hair, sometimes the hair will actually turn white, but in a lot of patients, they still have dark colored hair despite having vitiligo. That's because melanocytes are living in the hair follicle and they're transferring their melanin into the hair and that's what creates hair color. 
So what we try to do with the light treatments are stimulate those melanocytes to come out of the hair follicle and repopulate the skin. So it's pretty cool. When you see the patients that are getting repigmentation from these treatments, you see little tiny dots that start. And these are dots around a hair follicle. And those dots, then they start to expand out. So a patient who has a broad pasture vitiligo, it'll start to get little pigmentation, little dots in it. And then those dots all start to grow until they connect and that repigments a broad area of skin. It's really one of the most amazing treatments that we can provide for our patients because it changes the way they view themselves. It restores their confidence. And when they get their pigmentation back, restoring that confidence, it's the best feeling of the world. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now you know a little bit more about vitiligo and how it's treated. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching this video. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Let's get it.